I think I figured a way to reduce the amount of paper I have in my area. I started making a video. Oh, yeah, welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. Um, well, first, I'll show you really quick what I did in the live in Penny's group. Junk Journal with Penny on Facebook. You can join me live if you join the group. You can join me live on Sundays. That's the only live I do right now. Um, and I was inspired by... Where is it? Oh, if you watch my videos, you know that I won Jamie Parody's uh, 300 subscriber giveaway. And she had wrapped a journal in this lovely paper that she made that I love. And I was inspired by that. So I tried making a big piece. I gotta tell you, I don't know how she did it. Making a big piece of paper is really hard. I have a lot more weight space than she did. Um, and I was trying not to think. I was just like grabbing an ink from one side and whatever the next stencil was I had pulled out from the other side. And that's why the colors are probably not the ones I would normally use. Because, you know, these are, these more look like the colors I would normally use. I actually started this one doing random so there's like red and green in the background so I just I went with the greens and tried to kind of not hide the red but you know I didn't accentuate the red um, so this actually can be a journal page in a book whether it's a wide book like this or I, I could fold it anywhere just for a grungy little a grungy little journal somewhere I'm you know grunge is me and then this was just a piece of scrapbook paper that was a little bit wrinkled. I could have ironed it, but what's the fun in that? So I wrinkled it some more, and as I was wrinkling it, I said, you can't hurt it by wrinkling it, and then I got a big tear in it. So I turned this tear into a pocket. It's like a little hidden pocket. I reinforced it in the back with some um, medical tape. And then this square is the pocket, and I sealed it on top so that it wouldn't get confused with this tuck spot. Then I just put a tuck spot on this side. That way, if I ever have to like go back in there and fix anything, I can. That's why I didn't do a whole pocket. Although what I might do is like have like a, a piece of paper stick out from underneath, like glue it on something like, say I tore off a piece of this paper and stuck it in here and just kind of ripped it around and glued it on the back. This would still be a tuck spot. And would hide that tape if I wanted to hide the tape, but the tape's nice and grungy because this was my fingers when I was taking the tape off and putting it on. So if you ever get a rip in your paper, it's okay. Just use it to your advantage. So on the other side, I have some of that medical tape. So you can see it shows a little bit, but not too much. I didn't want to lose um, the, um, in fact, I probably can even hide it a little bit more by doing this. There we go. There you go. Now it just looks like a rip in the paper. You wouldn't know that was a pocket. You could even tuck a hidden, um, some paper in there, a hidden journaling spot right now. Because there's wrinkles everywhere. Who would know that wasn't just a wrinkle? So, yeah. I'll have to show you how I did that sometime. So anyway, I'm like wrinkling it up and saying, you can't hurt it by wrinkling. Got that tear. But it had a few wrinkles. I added way more wrinkles and did the same thing I did with the, uh, you know, what it looked like Jamie had done. The stenciling. Um, I actually chose my stencil colors, and um, they still didn't work out because there was color on the stencil, so this was supposed to be green, but that I had washed off the brush so I could get the green on there, and then the brush was kind of wet, and any ink that was on the stencil ended up on the paper, so we went with that color instead. Just saying. Originally, that was supposed to be the green. Like These two colors were not my picks. It still ended up random, no matter what I did. And then this is the turquoise, which ended up looking green because there was some black on the uh, brayer. Because I used this stamp and I just brayer on there. So I'll, I'll do that on my channel sometime. I've probably done stuff similar to it. Um, in fact, that might be how I do the covers. Okay, so my idea for getting rid of some of my paper, because I have way too much. And, you know, I can't just sell digital paper that I printed that somebody else is, but I can put it in a journal. So I thought if I make some journals out of the flow type journals, then people can use whether it's dyed paper or jelly plate paper or printables or whatever it is I put in there, book pages, it's going to be a bunch of, they're definitely going to be eclectic. So very eclectic. But I don't want to cut down any papers. So my papers are eight and a half by 11 and I need probably a good inch to put the eyelets at the top and the bottom for the, the thingamabit. 
thingamajig, you know. So I need to make the books nine and a half, and some of my papers are 12 inch, like the scrapbook papers that I might want to use, maybe 12 inch. So I'm going to do nine and a half by six and a half is what the, the book size is going to be. So I have to make a paper nine and a half by 12. So my options are I could make my own substrate like like uh, uh, Joey, Joey Defee or I could use um, 12 by 12 paper. No, that still would only be 12 by 12 because I want 12 and a half or 13. So yeah, I'm just kind of, and this is another way to get rid of more book pages. So actually, I think since I have all this, I'm going to make this kind of my my sub substrate right didn't I just rip a piece off of this I should have there we go I'm like I just ripped this. how long is this oh so if I rip this in half it's definitely gonna be long enough but height wise it's only eight and a half inches so if I do one two three of these together I should get four book covers out of it when I cut cut it down. I don't know. I couldn't even do that other thing. How am I going to do this? Oh, sorry about the noise. Oh, man. It's not ribbon on the perforation. That doesn't make me happy. My other option would be... I do have some masking paper. Which would be a little smaller and easier to use. But also I could cut this in... Let me cut it down. I don't have I'll just do one step with it. Let's go ahead and cut it down. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all I do. So I want 13 inches. So we're going to go. That's 12. And we're just going to take our finger, and that is around 13. Give or take. We'll give ourselves a little extra just to be on the safe side. So that's that and then now I've got two pieces I'm going to oh, we'll just fix that one and then nine and a half of course this is now 13 making this a little bit challenging nine and a half oh and in a bit I mean, I'll just do ten and that will just give me a little extra see that's the only bit of extra I need and that will get covered. I'm not too worried about that. So that's the size I want right there. I'm just going to do 10. I'm doing like 10 by 10. The books will end up smaller by the time I'm done. There go. So I just, I could do it like Joey Defee and just have it be booked on the inside and outside, but I kind of like the idea of this should be 13, right? Yes. I like the idea of, um, I don't know, what, what do I like the idea of? Does anybody know what I was trying to say? Oh, just having one and done and not have to worry about cutting it up later, I think is what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I mean, I'll still cut it down because I'm still making it a little bigger than it needs to be. Of course, can't cut 13 inches on a 12 inch cutter, trimmer, thingy, majiggy, scissors. I'm like, I know I have scissors here somewhere. So I'll start with four and put them in my store and see how they do. They might not sell, and then I'll be like, I'm never getting rid of any of this paper. It'll be like a kit in journal form, but that way I can add some digitals to. Um, because it'll be technically be a journal, so. And, see, I can start already if I wanted this to be, you know, that color on the inside. I could just do that, but, yeah. So, now what do I need? Some, like, oh, I have, like, you know how many dictionaries I have? Way, way, way too many dictionaries. So. I'm just going to take this Webster's Crossword Puzzle Dictionary and just use that because it's going to all get covered. So, 
so. Don't know why I'm being precious with this. Pull it out. Just need a bunch of pages. They're probably not even going to show when I'm done. I'm, what I did to that paper, I think, is what I'm going to do with these. So there's that. Right. So I'm going to work on one at a time. And I don't need this right now. So we can use and move that. All the stuff I was working with earlier today. Um, what else do I want? I want I'm going to use the gel mat medium. Okay. Should I? Should I? Should I? Next question. Where's my gel mat medium? I'll probably pause a lot during this just so you don't have to watch the whole process. I went ahead and just got myself a big brush so that I could work quickly, hopefully. And then I have a smaller one for when I need edges. And of course, you could use decoupage. Um, what I like about gel mat medium, at least as far as I know, is that I will be able to, you know, paint over it and stuff. So, that's a good thing. Um, and I'm glad I have my glass mat now, too, because you know what's going to happen? I'm going to get glue everywhere. Everywhere. It's going to get everywhere. And so I'm using books that would not be too embarrassing. I, I just, that herbal remedy book, remedy books, rem, I can't talk. And I don't have to go all the way to the edges because I made this bigger than I need it. Um, I went ahead and tossed it because even if I paint over the pages, it's just like, it's talking about like burns and diseases and stuff like that. And I'm just like, eh. I have plenty of book pages that I do not need to keep. Icky book pages. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going big here. I'm just putting big couple layers. Because I want it. It's going to be a book cover. So it has to be able to withstand stuff that book pages. That book covers. Because I would still want you to be able to use it as a book. Like that's the whole point of a journal. Is you want to be able to use it. But I like the idea that. You can move your pages around. You can. I guess that was supposed to go the other way, but that's all right. It doesn't matter. Truly, it does not matter. Um, you can you, you know, use your use the book pages in other journals or move them around in this journal, whichever you know. I thought it might be a fun way to do it that way. It's I was overthinking it before. I'm like, okay, I need to make kits. I need to have all the things. But no, I can just do a little journal like this and then maybe do a pocket letter with it. Learned about pocket letters this week. Do you guys know what a pocket letter is? Am I the last person to learn what a pocket letter is? Might be. Very well, might be. It's basically, you take the plastic sleeve for... Um, uh, like baseball cards and you just put stuff in them in the in the little pockets Because it has like the nine little pockets and I have some that have bigger pockets too, so I could get rid of I could get rid of I could give I could uh, Supply bigger pieces I Don't mean get rid of I got good stuff. I just got too much stuff. That's my problem. There's, you can have too much of a good thing because, you know, if you can't find your other good things that you're trying to find, then you've got too much of good things. So, yeah, this is, this is where I am right now. I'm trying to get rid of stuff. I don't want to just throw stuff away. And um, vintage book pages that are already out of their books, uh, yeah, you can't just donate those. There's only... The only way for me to decrease to these stash is to share them, whether I sell them in my store or give them away. But I paid a lot of money for this stuff. My ideally, what I hope these pages do not want to stick. I'm, this gel matte medium is is not liking me right now. Did I not do this side? Is that the problem? Let's try a smaller one. See if we do any better. Don't know why that would. Maybe I'm putting it on too thick. 
I don't know. This worked great when I was doing music pages. Oh, I should do one of the music pages. I will. I have so many papers. Okay, so a lot of the vintage books I bought thinking, okay, I'll use a few pages of these and I'll, you know, share the other ones. And I didn't do as much sharing as I thought I was going to do. Let's put it that way. So, just trying to figure out, no, there's no, like, shiny side or anything. I'm just trying to figure out why my gel matte medium is not working the way gel matte medium should work you know by sticking stuff to it that's, <laughs> by stuff not being able to stick to it easily that's what I'm saying here Oh, maybe I should use credit card. I see people do that. I had one earlier. Not a credit card, but you know, a card. A card of some sort. Oh, good. I put the cover on my food. It's like a magical day. Did I put any of these away? No, it's not that magical. Alright, okay, let's put these inks. Because this is what I do. I go from. I'm like a butterfly. Or a bee. No, I guess. Well, no, bees are methodical. They don't go to, a, to another flower. They go to a different flower every time. I'm, I'm truly, apparently, a butterfly. Flip from flower to flower and back and forth and squirrel. Definitely with the squirrels. I can go for the pencils. Pretty do that to me. This is what happens when you're just like throwing stuff around. Your peanut brittle gets uncovered. Alright. All that because I was looking for something on my desk that I didn't see right away and therefore had to... Do you guys have cats? Who has a cat? Does your cat have a sudden need to bathe? Sudden need to clean off my desk. That's, that's looks like a cat's sudden need to bathe. Like they're just sitting there taking a nap. All of a sudden they wake up and just start bathing. That's, that's what's going on here. Just, I'm not bathing, don't worry. I'm just, I'm just putting stuff where, out of the way. And behind me, where it can totally, all because I wanted to find a card. A card, a card, a card that I could flatten out my paper whiz when I put it on. There it is. Well, there's one. It'll work. Like this, you know, they flatten out the, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. But maybe this paper is not a good, I don't know. This is what I was thinking that maybe if I had this, it would stick better. That's not it. It might, maybe it's just not a good paper for, or maybe it's not a good, maybe I should just go to Mod Podge. Maybe that would work better. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I am using too much. Maybe I'm not using enough. Does anybody know? Does anybody really and truly know? If so, would you tell me? Okay. I'm going to pause. Well, I'm probably not going to pause. I'm probably going to stop the video and merge them later because that way I can watch other people do stuff on vid videos while I do this. Because I think you get a picture of what I'm trying to do here. Um, I'm doing this first layer. I'm going to do at least two layers. Well, I'm gonna, I'll am i let you know when I'm done how many layers I ended up doing. Because it's going to be when it feels thick enough to be a book to cover. That's when I'll be done. I'm not sure how many layers that will be. Um, and what I like about doing it this way is I'll just have a plain inside. It'll just be that, which I can then decorate too if I want to. I don't have to if I don't want to. You know? Sometimes we don't want to. Just being random here. Alright, so I will 
take my time to do whatever it is I'm doing and you guys will just see me like in a second hopefully if I'm able to merge them if I'm not able for any strange unexpected reason able to merge them it'll this will be part one and the other one will be part two but usually the usually the only reason I can't merge something is if I get a phone call while it's paused and then sometimes it, it won't merge for me for some reason so although I could let's see before I do though let me chat a little bit more I mean I was chatting in my live but you guys don't see my lives unless you will see my live so so Joel's car is officially totaled uh, they are sending the check we signed the papers and I put the title in the mail to them all that jazz and so that should be in the mail in fact, when FedEx came by yesterday, I thought that was the check, because sometimes they make you sign for the check. And, uh, no, it was something my son ordered. And the FedEx guy just, we have some steps in front of our house. So, like, the, the driveway comes up, and then you turn to go down the steps to the front door, because we have a weird house where the second story is really the main part of the house. Um, but anyway, so there's steps that go down because the downstairs is like half underground. That's what I was probably trying to say. Anyway, he just threw it down the steps. Like, I didn't even know he had delivered anything. I was like looking around. I'm like, he was here. He stopped in front of our house for like a few minutes. What happened? And then I looked and there's just, um, a box sitting there on the steps upside down because he just threw it. I told Joel, I said, if they ask how it was delivered, because you know Amazon always asks, that you tell them it was not delivered well at all. I'm like, I don't like filling out those things. I'm like, why do you need a review every time someone does their job? I mean, I get there are some jobs where you do get a review when you've done your job because that's somebody else's job. Like if you're in a play, there's somebody's job is to review you. But they know what they're doing. I should not have to review you. That should not be my job. I don't get paid to give you a review. If I reviewed everybody, every, everybody that delivered something to my door, I'd spend half my life reviewing every little thing. So that was my rant for today. Um, I mean, I get how it does help because my uh, friend's granddaughter, who is still my friend too, I, I don't think there's an age moratorium on age. If I want to be friends with a 28-year-old, I can be. Although, I've known them for... Well, she was a teenager when I first met them. So, you know, as she's... When she moved here um, from, from Kansas, that's when I became friends with her. And then she was an adult. So, you know, I was in my 30s. She was in her 20s, te late teens to 20s. It's all good. 20s, I think she... Did she finish college? I can't remember. I don't care. Um, anyway. So, yeah. I'm friends with, like, three generations of one family. Um, but they're, like, family, so... I don't know. There's my tangent. Squirrel. Um, so where was I? Oh, so the FedEx guy annoyed me. Okay. Rant. Over. Um, so... And we're waiting for the check. Check hasn't come yet, but that's okay. It's just... The reason I thought about the check was because the reason I thought about the FedEx guy was because of the check. So, Joe bought himself a Pokemon shirt. That's what came in the mail. It comes with some kind of rare Pokemon card, and it's for the uh, Pokefest, uh, uh, whatever. The f every year, the anniversary of when they started, they have a thing. Always with a thing. So. And we didn't get to go one year. It was like in Pennsylvania. One year. Last year, <laughs> something was supposed to be in Pennsylvania. And we were going to go. He had tickets and everything. And had the hotel booked and everything. But that was like end of March. It was June, I think, last year. Go fast. That's what they call it. And um, so, you know, that didn't happen. But, um they we still got to use the tickets where we lived because usually those tickets you have to use where where the event is 
the annual Go Fest thingamajiggy. I don't know. You guys don't care. It's Pokemon. But anyway. But he cares, and he's my son, so I care. I only play Pokemon for, well, for them initially, but the other one, the younger one, Joel, Nathan doesn't play, so. And, uh, just, I don't really play so much. Joel's still very much into it. But there are other obsessions that could be way worse. Um, well, that he has had that were way worse, so we're good with, I'm good with it. If, if that's his obsession is Pokemon Go, I'm okay with it. But I think he might play a little less now that he has a, a, a best friend who is a girl. But he still does play. She'll play sometimes, maybe. I think she played a little uh, at some point, but never was into it like he is. All right, so let's see what else has been going on. Let's see, what's nice about doing this is it's just like mindless and I can actually, actually chat so much for me pausing and, and doing this step paused, right? Of course I need to, there's gonna be more layers to this, so I'm just letting them dry between layers. And the glue itself is going to help sturdify this. All right, that is all. I don't know what happened there, but I'm just going to press all the wrinkles and everything right down there. That's what we're going to do. It just, I don't know, it's, it just needs to be strong. I don't need it to be pretty. I need it to be strong. Does that make sense? This is a, a it's actually kind of fun. It's kind of a fun way to use up your uh, book pages that, you know, we have a lot of. And you definitely want to overlap. That's a thing. <laughs> oh, it's not going in. It's not going in. Whoops! It's drowned. Uh, so yes, I helped. So um, let's see. So two weeks ago, my friend uh, they had some overlaps, so they were able to kind of have a little more time moving into one place from the other place. So two weeks ago, helped her pack up her stuff to get it ready to move. And so last week, helped her unpack her stuff in the new house. Because that's what we do for our friends, is we help them. I mean, I've had several friends move in the last 25 years, and I moved the one time. So, <laughs> and we didn't have much stuff 25 years ago. So... When we do move, there are people that are going to have to come from other states to help us move. We move them so much. So we're just like, you know what? We helped you move like five times. I think you need to come help us move. But now you live in Ohio, so you're just going to have to come back. Whoops. Drop a piece of paper, not a problem. I got plenty. So, yeah. So that used up all my energy. So fortunately, I had made that that video making that uh i think it was monday or two Mon monday or tuesday tuesday i must have made that video on tuesday because we had people over on monday i don't think i did it on monday i mean i could have done it on monday i don't know i don't know what i did um so monday or tuesday i made this video doing it was uh eclectic journal for E, if you ever want to go check it out. I made a journal in a day, which was only accomplished because I had stuff on hand. Like, um, stuff meaning ta tags and stuff. So, you know, adding tags and pockets is sometimes what takes the longest. And I think I showed every step except me binding it because, I mean, you can see people bind them that, um, better at it than me so so but the rest of the picking the papers creating the cover which has a canvas cover and then you know filling the pages um, I did in a day it was four videos and I put them out over three days because one was just more of a two-part video not really a standalone the camera cut off and I didn't it was would have been extra extra long if I had gone ahead and did it as a one as merged it. 
So I just did two parts and that way you guys wouldn't have to sit through the whole thing. You could just go about your business, watch a video, go do something, and then watch the next one. But I didn't make you wait till Friday either. Because I'm nice like that. I almost did and then I changed it. Go through a lot of glue when you do this. I could have done these doing the napkin thing too. Actually, I could still. Um, if you were going to do uh, the napkin junk journal where you just do layers and layers and layers, you could totally start with book page as one of your layers. Because you just need something down there to give it some stability for your cover, basically. These definitely are going to have to dry before I put the next layer on. And it's possible that all the layers will want to come back up when I put the next layer on. I don't know. Let's see how the first one's doing. It's still quite wet. Let me... Um, eh, it's not quite, quite wet. But let me dry it a little bit. It's still a little bit. It's not tacky, but uh, we, they, I can still feel it being a little bit damp. But that's all right. I just want to get my layers on there. And then once it's dry, if I want to, I can just go ahead and put it under a book. Um, to get it to flatten out. Like Tim Holtz says, paper does not have a memory. So if it gets wet and gets all out of sorts, you can fix that. I'm trying to go over different... I'm trying to overlap. And also... Um, yeah, make sure that I'm not get like, I'm not going to put another piece right up against that. I'm going to overlap that. And I'm going to try to see where there's a line here, a line here, and a line here. I'm going to try to overlap that whole bit, is what I'm saying. I mean, it's, I don't know how important that is, but that's how I do it. It just gives it more, I don't know. I think, I think it makes it stronger to do it that way, not having all your edges in the same spot every time. The hard part is making sure you get all the, um, I'm just gonna put, I might do a third layer, so I'm just gonna put some full pages on here too. I'm still gonna get that texture with the first and the last layer, so. Actually, maybe I don't need to do that top layer yet until I do the rest of them on. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe that will help if it wasn't wet on top. Maybe I'd help myself out a little bit. And just glue where I need to glue. Maybe. I just want to make sure I get the whole... In there, turn that over. Wait, it went all the way across. Yay! Let's see if that does any better. It'll dry better, dry faster if I do my edges a little bit. I guess I'll at least do my edges. Alright, what's next? Go up, go across, we'll go across. Maybe I'll just do on this paper this time. I don't know. Try different things. Maybe something works better for you. Who knows? Because if I'm not going to mod podge on or do the glue on top for this layer, which I probably didn't need to do for the first layer either, except where it was overlapping, then I might as well... There goes that piece. <laughs> uh, just trying to make it peek, go in the corner there. That's it. That's all I'm trying to do. So, um, how are you guys doing? I got distracted. I was super talkative and then all of a sudden, not so much. Uh, a couple of you told me about your pets. So, hi Trapper. And Robin's German Shepherd. <laughs> I think I told you about the German Shepherd that used to live behind her house. He used to try to scare our cat, but I, I think he actually liked her. Is, is what was up with that. I think he was like, be my friend. 
So first, let me like torment you. But I really want you to be my friend. But you know, friends torment each other. Let's do that. Oh, here it is. Was I able to get this out of here before? I don't know. The last layer, I'm gonna actually let these dry quite a bit, um, or dry totally before I add the last layer. I think that will help somehow. I don't know why I think that will help, but I do. Is that weird that I think that will help to let them dry completely? I don't know. Once I get all the layers on, it's going to take even longer to dry. So. Let's see. All right. I'm making a mess. It's glorious. Making a mess is glorious. Glorious sis, mess sis, sis, sis. To make a mess yourself, sis. So, how many of you have a messy desk? That's what I should ask. So far, most of my people here are maybe not exactly like me. I mean, my desk is always like super, super messy. But I know I've had comments that people have said, "Oh, it's so nice to see another desk like mine." You know. So are you one of those people that tend to have a messier than average desk because you're such a genius like me? Because that's what, that's what they say in a uh, messy desk is a sign of a genius or I mean, it wasn't a desk, a messy something. Oh, there's blue paint. Oh, it's underneath. Why? I don't know. It almost seemed like there was a blue tint to my um, glue and I was like, well, that was weird if it came from underneath. Well, there's a pink tint anyway. Oh, I had blue on my brush, that's why. Maybe not such a surprise. That was actually more like maybe it's because I have my fan. Yeah, that's the right one, right? Maybe it's I don't care if that's even or not. I'm gonna cut off the edges. It's okay. Over yourself, lady. This was full up to here, so you definitely go through kinda like when I did the um the napkin ones go through a lot of glue, no matter what kind you use. I have one more of these. And I don't know if you'd have any more left if you just put this stuff on, or what, I don't know. Don't know, don't know. Um, let's see, so I said hi hi to the pets because that was my question in another video that's how I know you guys are actually watching the video or at least listening a lot of times I'm listening more than watching unless there is something I want to follow on and do but I'm not really a follow along and do kind of person I'm more of a oh that looks interesting let me see if I can do that myself I know some of you are like that um, or that could be the question you know I could just change it up that could be the question. Are you a, I need to see all the instructions and all the measurements kind of person? Or are you a, oh, that looks interesting. Let me try that. And not, you know, just wing it. And then shellify it. Make it your own. Shell, rambling crafter. We love her. Um, yeah. That's what she calls it, Shellify it. I don't know how to do that with my name, Darsify it. I don't know. I guess you have to use it a lot before it starts to sound like it's supposed to. Oh, there we go. Before it starts sounding normal. Because she says Shellify it, and it sounds totally, totally normal. It's like a word now to me in my head. Ooh, got some pasty stuff. Paper got in there. That's what happened. I'm like determined to use like the last. I think it's paper or just dried paint. Could be either one. Not dried paint, but dried gel matte medium. Is up, oh, hubby's home. So yeah, this is actually will be a good time to stop. This is the last layer of the second layer. Do you want to see the? the well, it's all going up in one video. You won't be able to answer me until this video is done. Or should I put this video up? I've got another layer to do. Maybe I'll go ahead and put this video up just so you guys can get the chat and get all the chat um, 
that I did and see what's been going on and whatnot. And then I'll do the third layer, which I probably won't do the third layer. I'll, I'll do the third layer off camera and I will come back to, to create the covers, like paint them and stuff and do the technique similar, probably similar to what I did in the live today. Maybe, maybe not. All right, I think that part of my problem is the, this might be part of my problem. I don't know, or it could be this paper. You know, some papers, or it could be the glue. <sighs> Who knows? All right, well, happy home. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a delightful day. I love you guys. Bye.